This video shows the procedure to be used when installing System 25 molded transition parts with slash 225 adhesive. You must adhere to local codes and regulations relating to safe working practices. Degrease the cable jacket on all branches using a solvent wipe. Abraid the cable jacket on all branches thoroughly with a 100 grit emery cloth. Remove loose particles from the abraded areas using a dry tissue. This cable preparation is very important in ensuring a strong bond to the moulded part. Position moulded transition part centrally onto cable form. Use a CV1981 heat gun and a PR51 reflector set at 230 to 250 degrees centigrade. Ensure heat is not aimed into the inside of the moulded part, as this may cause pre-curing of the adhesive. When recovering, the heat must be applied evenly around the moulded transition part. Heat uniformly, starting from the centre, moving outwards towards each breakout in turn. Continue heating the moulded part at the cable and to ensure the adhesive flows. Look for evidence that adhesive is present. Excess adhesive should be removed with the folded edge of a 100 grit emery cloth. Apply post heat evenly around the moulded part at the cable end, taking care not to scorch the moulded part. Continue to heat uniformly, starting from the centre, moving outwards towards each breakout in turn. When using slash 225 moulded parts, use the heat shield, part number AD 7 025, to avoid pre curing of the other moulded part legs. Ensure the part is fully recovered onto the cable. Look for evidence that adhesive is present. Excess adhesive should be removed with the folded edge of the 100 grit emery cloth. Apply post heat evenly around the moulded part at the cable end as per COP, taking care not to scorch the moulded part. Continue to heat uniformly each breakout in turn, using the heat shield to avoid pre-curing of the other moulded part legs. 
Ensure the adhesive flows. Look for evidence that adhesive is present. Excess adhesive should be removed with the folded edge of the 100 grit emery cloth. Apply post heat evenly around the moulded part at the cable end as per COP, taking care not to scorch the moulded part. It may be necessary to reheat the area between outlets until the required shape has been fully formed. For best results, the moulded part should be installed as a continuous operation. Allow to stand for two hours before any aggressive handling. The termination should be subjected to a flex test of 90 degrees in each of four planes around a mandrel with a diameter equal to six times the cable diameter. There should be no separation between the moulded part and cable jacket at the adhesive bond line.